Breaking news, my wonderful people, see what is happening. Yes, so 2023, you copied Abiola's campaign slogan, Out of Desperation. <laughs> Dino Maleye slams Tinubu. Ah, oh guy, free for you. So no fresh ideas in that brain of yours. And you say you are not coming for a bricklayer job. You are coming for a brainy job. I thought you would have thought about it. Really giving it a serious thought. Before going about to say you want to bring out a campaign, uh, whatever. Look at what you're doing. Is this what you intend to do? Is this how life should be? This is a shame if you ask me. And you know Dino Malaya, he will rub it in. Oh dear. Tell me about it. He will rub it in like no tomorrow. In fact, he said, I can't believe what Tinubu has just done. He copied the uh, later Biola's campaign. And as if that is not enough, he now top it up with uh, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu's, uh, uh, I mean, Muhammad Buhari's uh, 2015 failed venture. This is, this is absurd. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. The spokesperson for the People Democratic Party PDP, Presidential Campaign Council Senator Dino Maleye, has accused the presidential candidate of the ruling of Progressive Congress, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, of plagiarizing the manifesto of the campaign slogan of the former president, late MKO Abiola. Report has it that Dino Maleye made this known, made this known on Monday hours after the PDP chieftain Dele Momod has said that Tinubu's manifesto is a copy and paste of Abiola Hope manifesto mixed with President Muhammad Buhari manifesto in 2015. In a tweet via his Twitter page, Dino Maleye said the former governor of Lagos State was desperate to be like MK Abiola by copying his style and campaign slogan used in 1993 presidential election. The former Kogi senator said he was no longer worried about Tinubu's age, but the timelessness of his idleness and ideas, which he said we are no longer in tune with present reality of our time. How can you copy something that happened 30 years ago to bring it into today's life of Nigeria that we have today? Dino Malaya described Tinubu Manifesto as a renewed hopelessness, saying the PDP campaign candi ca presidential candidate Atiku was the right choice for Nigeria in these circumstances. He wrote, in desperation to be like Abiola, Tinubu is photocopying Abiola in Manifesto. Abiola did a Muslim Muslim ticket. Tinubu is doing a Muslim Muslim ticket too. Abiola picked a Kamuri man as vice presidential candidates and Tinubu too picked a Kamuri man as Abiola and as Abiola did too. Abiola's slogan was Hope 1993. Tinubu's slogan is Renewed Hope 2023. Actually, Renewed Hopelessness. I am not worried about the age of Tinubu, but about the age of his idea. Too archaic and out of tune with modern reality. Vote Atiku Abubakar Dino Maleye has said. Can you see what is going on? They are, I mean, the, the, the fight is on. The race is really, is really seriously going on. And uh, everybody can see for themselves that uh, it's no longer business as usual. Things are becoming more than you can imagine. Everybody is rising up to the occasion and saying enough is enough. You know, the whole thing and everything that is happening has shown to us again and again that the time for Nigerians to arise and do not allow those people to continue on their track is now. Let's rise up. Let's ensure that the situation change. The change when if the change is going to come, okay, we are we are going to we are going to have to work at it. If change is going to come, we are all going to have to do something about it. You and I will have to rise up and you know personally go on the grassroots and do campaign. The, you know, you know, we have to do the campaign together. Okay, we have to do it together. So this is what is happening. This is what is going on. Everybody, we are all in this together. You know, we are all in this together. And if anything is going to is going to change, then you must see change happen in the real direction of how it ought to be. Change as it ought to be. That's the only way we can truly make an effective, you know, meaningful position in, in the face of what is going on right now. 
the people and everything standing in front of us show to us again and again that this persons, these people are just doing things like a wise good chase, chase if you ask me. Okay, they are just doing things for themselves. And sadly, this is not what Nigerians anticipated or ever hoped or prayed for. So if anything is really going to change, there is real cause for concern. You know, we all will have to rise up to it and begin to see to it that the change we anticipated, the change we've all been envisaging come to reality. Okay, so it is what it is. It is what it is. And it is time to rise up. It is time not to allow, okay, Nigerians to be, because they've told us before, say, ah, poverty is whining Nigerians. Nigerians are poor. Ah, this, that's why, you know, they, they are making, they are doing whatever they are doing. You know, this is what, and so if hope is going to be restored, every one of us will have to work at it. Every one of us will have to do something. Every one, one of us will have to ensure that difference is made. Okay? Every one of us will have to do something and ensure that there is difference. Don't just sit back there and uh, pretend that all is going well. Ensure that you, you, you are rising up to the occasion and you are doing what is absolutely right and necessary. Ensure that we all rise up together. Talk to the people around you, especially our aged parents, uncles and aunties. Let them know the importance, why we all have to rise to it. Let them know that it's, ext it's extremely important, you know, that every one of us is standing up for the occasion. Every one of us is doing what is right. Every one of us is arising. None of us is leaving, leaving stones unturned. Every one of us is rising like we should. This is where things are. And this is why change will absolutely come to be if we all do what is necessary and what is right. Remember that you and I, as it stands today, if we do nothing, nothing will happen. If we don't stand up and change, change will not come. So let's, let's ensure that, um, you know, we, we must do what is right. Okay, let's ensure that we do what is right. Okay, let's ensure we do what is right. Let's not, let's not allow, okay, these people... Let's not allow these people to distract us. The days upon us and the things that are happening, everything that is going on, if change will come, okay, we will do well to do it for ourselves. Okay, we'll do well to stand up and ensure that we do not allow the same thing over and over again. Arise, my people. It's the dawn of a new day. It is the dawn of a new day. Ensure that you're doing what is right and necessary. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like or share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.